During the winter, snow and ice can add a significant amount of weight to a building. If it gets to be too much, it can collapse. So how can you tell if your roof is close to caving in? And more importantly, what can be done to stop it? TV6's Beth Cephalou has more in tonight's Consumer Watch. never pretty. Roof collapses are a scary possibility. It happens when high snow accumulation pushes the structure to its breaking point. Warning signs include doors and windows not shutting properly or cracked drywall. Dan Perkins says ice is the real culprit behind the collapses. If you're building ice, you can tell because you see icicles and big dams forming at your eaves. Now that's going to cause problems because that builds up water behind those dams and that gets into your house. If you see water coming through your soffits or into your rooms on the inside of your house, you need to remove those ice dams. Perkins says proper insulation and ventilation can be a solution to ice buildup. If it's just snow, he says most Upper Michigan homes can take it. In this uh, UP, we've got 68 pound per square foot dead loads rated right in our building codes. This. Gary Nimala of Scandia Trust says homeowners should always keep an eye on potential problems. There are roofs up here with two feet of snow, you could have a problem. It all depends on what your design criteria was. He says homeowners should pay attention if their roof has three feet or more of snow. As the weather tends to warm up, we could start getting rain. Snow will suck up the rain like a sponge and add to the weight. Nimala feels it's time homeowners shovel their roof. Beth Cephalou, TV6 News.